A lot of people are very fascinated by the, the love story that is associated with Bolt Castle. Uh, George Bolt began building Bolt Castle for his wife Louise. Um, it was to be a, uh, a gift to her on Valentine's Day. Inconsolable at her death, he did discontinue all work. And many people are, are drawn by that love story uh, of George Bolt and Louise Bolt and building Bolt Castle for his wife. Uh, George Bolt first came to the Thousand Islands in the late 1880s, um, fell in love with this area, and decided that he would like to uh, purchase some property here for a summer home for he and his wife and their two children. And he purchased this uh, Hart Island from a gentleman by the name of E. Kirk Hart. Uh, had a large summer home on it, existing already, made major renovations to it, and stayed in the summer home for a number of summers until which time he decided to remove it and build what is now here, Bolt Castle. The Thousand Island Bridge Authority was offered this historic facilities, which include Bolt Castle and the Bolt Yacht House, and it decided it could and would take over these historic properties and dedicate itself to the tourism industry of the Thousand Islands International Region, which it had been for years, uh, but with the acquisition of this property, it could even play a bigger role in the tourism industry for the Thousand Islands. During that course of time, uh, Bolt Castle has improved greatly with the uh, rehabilitation efforts and programs of the Thousand Island Bridge Authority, uh, attracting literally thousands and tens of thousands of visitors to Bolt Castle and the Thousand Islands region uh, on a seasonal basis. So Bolt Castle has really become a uh, incalculable value to the Thousand Islands Industries Tourism Region. Uh, we welcome about 160, 170,000 visitors here seasonally, with another 20,000 visiting the Bolt Yacht House. So Bolt Castle and the Bolt Yacht House have really become um, a destination within the Thousand Islands.